Here we have a 2007 BMW 530 Touring in space grey. We just start with the uh, offside front tyre. As you can see, there's plenty of tread left. I'd say around six mil of tread depth. Looking at the alloy itself, as you can see, really good condition on the alloy. Couldn't see any signs of any curbing at all. Just a little, few little scratches here and there, as you can see. Other than that, though, really nice condition. It is the uh, the M Sport as well. I do apologise. If we have a quick look down the offside side of the car, I have had a good look. I couldn't see any signs of any dents at all. There is a small, very small ding in the uh, driver's door. Um, it's very small indeed, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I don't think you will be able to. But again, nothing to worry about. It is it is a very very light. Um, you do have some light scratches on the uh, driver's door. Uh, that's about it really, no cosmetic damage at all. Just a few light scratches uh, here and there on the bodywork. And that's about it. So it's all in good order on the off side of the car. Now looking at the rear tyres, as you can see very low indeed. These, uh, it would need replacing this, it's about around 2mm, maybe just below. And the minimum is 1.6 mil to pass the MOT, so something to be aware of. Looking at the offside rear alloy, again, really nice condition. You have got a bit of Kirby on this one though, but it is very uh, minimal. Other than that, nothing to report there. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle. Put that, yeah, got a, just on the corner here, you've got a few light scratches on the paintwork, you can see just on the, uh, the edge there. Again, I've had a good look, no signs of any dents or dings. There's a few light scratches on the actual boot lip itself, as you can see. But other than that, nothing really to bottle. Just missed that. There is a small dink in there. You can just see it. it curves inwards. It's a very small dink in the uh, back there, as you can just see. Moving around to the near side of the vehicle, you have got a bit of a paint disfigurement there on the very corner of the car, as you can see. And then some very minor scuffs just below it. Moving around to the near side rear. Again, as you see, very low. Um, again, it would need changing this tyre. So both rear tyres would need changing soon. Um, on this alloy, we've got a bit of curbing, as you can see. But other than that, again, sorry, really nice condition. Just do a little bit of a refurb and these wheels would be spotless. Looking at the arch just above, you've got um, again some light bodywork scratches. Looking down the side though, got no dents or dings that I could find. Again just very small um, light scratches on the bodywork. That is again nothing major at all, as you can see. Very small, it's a bit of a disfigurement in the paint. This little passenger door handle. Moving down the car, have a look at the near side front tyre, and again, plenty of tread depth as you can see, there's around 6mm. Looking at the alloy, same signs as before, small amount of curbing, but otherwise, really nice condition. And moving around to the front of the vehicle, you do have some light scratches just in the arch there and just on the corner, as you can see. Moving around to the bonnet, you do have a few stone ships, as you can see. There's quite a few dotted around the bonnet and near the headlight there. As we move down the car, you can see we've got some stone ships again. 
Um, bit of a crack there in the paintwork. It was split. A uh, small dink just in the very middle there of the uh, front lip. And there's actually a bit of damage here. As you can see, it's actually cracked. I'll try to focus up on that. Yeah, as you can see, a bit of damage there. It would need a, a smart repair. Take inside the vehicle now. <coughs> as you can see, it is the M Sport. Comes with full black leather interior. Slightly worn on the driver's seat, but that does come with age. Quick look in the back. You can see the back seats are slightly worn, they have been used, so it is to be expected from age. But no rips or tears at all or any serious damage. Step in and show you the mileage. As you can hear, no problem starting the car. There you go, 71,962 miles on the clock. The car does come with a media package, as you can see you've got your sat nav, everything functions as it should. Comes with heating, like I said everything works, you've got your radio, everything's included in the media package. Quick look at the documents now, the car's had two previous owners as you can see. It does come with the MOT certificate, changed July the 6th, 2013. And the car does come with full franchise service history, which is really good to hear. 16,000 there, 33,000, 37, and the last one there was done with us, 54,000. So by, we're on 71, 72,000 pretty much now, so it would need a service or within the next couple of thousand miles. There you go, it's the BMW 530D Touring M Sport and overall not a bad car at all.